Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're not part of the channel, share, subscribe, like this video. We appreciate having each and every one of you here. Like we always tell you, make sure you leave your prayer request in the bottom. We, so we can pray for them day and night because we're definitely running out of time down here. So we got to get everybody on that boat. Okay? 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received, and wherein you stand. By which you are saved, and you keep in memory that I preached unto you, unless you are believed in vain. For I have delivered you for the first of all, which I have also received, how that Christ died for your sins, for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried and rose again on the third day according to the Scriptures. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. By the grace you were saved uh, through faith, and not of yourself. It is a gift to God, not of works, like any man should boast. Uh, you guys will get, I know that I'm late on emails, but like I said, I have been working double shifts and everything else and trying to keep this place up. So I, I can try to get to some of them, but a lot of them I don't get to, and I try my best to get to them, but it's just me doing all this, so it's kind of hard, okay? Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for those who uh, subscribed and also the ones who bought me coffee. I got a lot of mail this week. Thank you for all those who donated. Well, I can tell you, we don't ask you to donate. But we appreciate it, and we send that money to worthy causes around the world to try to get the gospel out as much as we can while we're still here. That's our jobs. We don't lock ourselves in the house. I've heard people say, well, you know the rapture's coming. Why do you take donations? Because we're trying to spread the gospel. We don't lock ourselves up. We don't quit. We keep moving. That's what you do. These poor people. Bless their hearts. Okay. The news that's coming in today. We all know what we talked about last night with these uh, these hackers and everything else. All that's come out. Well, today, the government, uh, well, the government, the federal government has been hacked. We don't know how many that how many agencies got hacked through the federal government, but it has come out that many of them have been hacked. So it has begun, just like they said it would. Now they're talking about the banks in the next couple of days. So. Like I said, we don't know if this is accurate. This is coming in from Hal Turner. But the best thing to do is be ready for the rapture because if it is a permanent shutdown of the banks, we're going home and we don't have to deal with this crap anymore. And that's what's important. Okay, as we talked about in the last couple months, you know, Russia has come out clearly today and <clears throat> a broadcast, Putin made it very clear, Ukraine will fall. There will be no negotiations, which I've already told you there will not be. I've already seen it. And in this, he says, the only way there'll be negotiations is when Ukraine is no more. And that they will destroy them, America and the West that support them. That came out on the wire today, straight from Putin's mouth himself. World War III is imminent. It's going to happen, people. I've already stressed to you, this is not Russia versus Ukraine. This is not America. It has nothing to do with any of it. This is the Antichrist. Remember, I talked about yesterday, I saw the 666, and I, I saw this sign, and I didn't know, okay, where I saw it before. Well, Brother Craig messaged me on Facebook. He said, Chris, I found it. It's CERN, of all things. Their logo is what I saw. The 666 in the different directions was CERN there in Sweden, or Switzerland, Switzerland, I'm sorry, it is in Switzerland, and that's what I saw, and then underneath it I saw 666, so I did some, I, I've never been a big person into CERN, I never really paid much attention to it, but I do believe now with God showing me that yesterday morning, that they are trying to punch a hole into another universe. And that's probably what's going to bring the, the Nephilim and everything back here. We know that they're going to be back here walking around once the rapture happens. That's why these post-trip people have no clue. But boy, they're going to get a rude awakening. Because there's going to be 20, 30-foot giants walking around and all kinds of other things that you don't want. And that's probably why that's centered around CERN and the Antichrist that's right there. Now they punch a hole in that thing. Now the Bible says in Revelation, his name will be Apollo. 
Well, Apollo's been here before. He's been known by many names. He's been called Baal. He's been called Nimrod. He has been called Gilgamesh. He's had many names down through the decades. And he has also been called Apollo or Apollo. And he is going to be back here again. Revelation tells us that. So, we do believe now God has pointed us at a place where it starts. That's there in Switzerland. Also, where the World Economic Forum is centered. Very disturbing. It's just more things God's pointing us at. And there's quite a bit. But with Putin making this statement that America, Ukraine, and everybody that's doing this will fall, we have these hackers that are talking about bringing down the banks in Europe this weekend. Also, today, if you don't know, and you probably don't because the U.S. media is just as worthless as worthless can get because they're controlled by the Antichrist themselves, they are voted in the House today to, for the Abraham Accords to split Israel down the middle. Doesn't that sound familiar? Oh, yeah, that's also in the Bible, too that they're going to give half of Israel to the Muslims and half of Israel to the Jews. That is what they're working on in our Congress, people. Our Congress in the United States, part of the Abraham Accord, straight out of the Bible. That's taking place right now while you're sitting here listening to this. It passed the House. It's got to go to the Senate. But they're going to really try to divide Israel. People, you can't make this stuff up. World War III, Jacob's Trouble, everything is right here. It's a great time for us. It's not a great time for the world. Because we're getting ready to leave this tin can. All the signs are there. 7.2 earthquake today. That's almost every day, every other day, that a severe seven-pointer or higher is happening. The sun is out of control. The weather is completely crazy. Canada is completely burning down. All these things straight out of the Bible, people. He warned us about these last days, these rumors of wars that are scaring people. And trust me, talking about all these nukes flying and Russia talking about all this stuff is making people scared to death, just like the Bible said. But he said, don't worry, I'm coming. I'm going to come in the clouds, scream down like an archangel, and he's pulling us out. The dead will rise first, and those that are up, us that are still alive will go up with them. I was watching this thing today, and this big production company that's supposed to be this big Christian organization, or they're teaching that uh, there is no pre-trib rapture. Now, see, if you read your Bible and you know the Word, you know that these people and who they work for. They work for Lucifer. And they're everywhere. And they come, just like God said, they will come as a white, bright light. And they do. They, they put Christian on the door and they tell you all this and everything. And then they tell you, you have no hope. And that's not God. But I'm here to tell you, they're about to find out that there is hope. And it's not going to be pretty for them. You know, I can understand if somebody believes that way, but when you start teaching it on a massive scale, what did Paul say? An angel or a human that does not preach Scripture, they are a curse. The rapture is straight out of the Bible. Okay? It's there. All you got to do is go into the, uh, Thessalonians. It's in there in many, many places, actually. It's all over the place. But, you know, like I said... I've, I've already went over these. I went over Scripture over and over and over and over. If people would just open their Bible and find out themselves, that's why nobody can fool me. That's why I don't go for that stuff. I see it and I go, no, nah, click, and turn them off. But a lot of people will keep watching that, and it takes their hope away because that's what Satan wants. He wants to suck your hope away. You don't want that right now because let me tell you something. A lot of people that believe in the post-trib are about to get the rudest awakening of their entire being because... While they're preaching their little thing, God has been warning all of us about the hole opening up in the sky and us going out of here.
Now, this church that I was watching, this, this big-time production company, was preaching that the rapture... Now, get this. Now, hold on. This is really good. Now, this, is, this is a Christian programming. That what we're talking about with this whole opening up sky, that's a false rapture, and that's aliens. Boy, that sounds familiar. So they're going right along with what the government's planning to do with the alien invasion. Hmm. Interesting. So this is where the post trip and them get their stuff at? That's interesting. And that tells us exactly where they get it from. Scary stuff, people. Watch what you watch. Because I'm here to tell you, 100%, a thousand percent, the rapture's getting ready to happen. And these people will be left here. Don't be one of them. I promise you, you don't want to be them. I have, I, many people have saw them on their knees begging when the rapture happens. You do not want to be them. They're screaming for days to come back and get them. They automatically know when the rapture happens because God's even showed me that. They know they messed up as soon as it happens. They know very quickly that they messed up. They become your tribulation saints, people. But I'm skipping all that. I'm going home. I want to be with Jesus. A lot of people don't want to be with Jesus. They want to hold on to this earth with everything they have. I'm not one of them. If you want it, you can have it. Good luck to you. Have a nice day. I don't want anything to do with it. I want to be with Jesus. I don't want this world. You can have everything I have. Don't want it. That's where we are, people. We're at a decision-making time. It's either heaven or hell. You're not promised tomorrow, even if the rapture don't happen tonight or tomorrow. You could die tomorrow, and if you're not saved, you're going to go to hell. Hell is real. There's no waiting room that you go in and get a Snickers bar. It's either you go straight to hell or you go straight to heaven. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. That's where we are. A lot of these people that teach post trade probably don't, a lot of them teach there's no hell. There is a hell. It's very real. Just like heaven's very real. And it's about to happen very soon that the church leaves and then Jacob's trouble starts. The seven-year tribulation is for those who do not believe and... Israel. The Bible clearly states it over and over and over. But Satan has went into the church and literally destroyed the teaching. It's called the great falling away. The great apostasy of the church has already happened. The church is so far away from God right now, it's farther away than it's ever been. That's why I'm telling you, it's time. We all know it, you God's sheep, you know, and that's why God said, do not argue with these people. They will soon find out for themselves, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to argue with them in the comments. They will soon find out because of their pride. And God has tried to teach them the same thing he's taught us, and they refuse to listen. So now he's blinded them, just like he blinded the Jews. Now they believe, because they won't go, they won't ask him. They don't try. They don't want to know because they won't let go of this earth. People were in decision-making time. A lot of stuff happening. With them getting ready to divide Israel, Putin making his comments, and now it's come out probably about 30 minutes ago that they're going to take out that bridge, this, this mask. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll have more information tonight when I go on to Hal Turner, find out more information about what's going on for you guys. But that bridge has been marked as a no-no. If they do, they'll strike with nukes. I think it's Donetsk. I think it's what, how they pronounce it. It's a big bridge that branches Russia in to the places they have taken over. And if they take out that bridge and dam, here comes another miss. People, the world's made up its mind. It's going to war. There's came out yesterday that a lot of people that they're we're talking about right there in some parts of Europe have already getting ready to draft their whole country in case of a nuclear war. It's already coming out. They're already drafting this stuff into their governments that they will have to draft every person in their country. That's how bad that they're thinking this is going to get. They don't move trillions of dollars. Europe looks like a war zone if they have not decided that they're going to war. And they have. 
That's why I don't, uh, this thing with this big hacking thing, I take it as a grain of salt because I think it, I don't think it's Russia. I don't. NATO knows Ukraine's losing this war horribly. And I think that they have to have a way in. Now, if all the banks in Europe crash, it crashes American banks, that is a declaration of war. It pours, it pours, it brings NATO into the war. Understand what's happening. And I've told you, I've been warning you for months. Warned you that Belarus would play a major role. That happened the other day. They got their nuclear weapons and are already threatening to use them, and they don't care. And they won't, and they do use them. So does Russia, so does America. The rapture, God told me months ago to preach no fear, and the only way out of this is the rapture. That's it. If you want out, you want to bypass all that, be ready for the rapture. Call upon Jesus right now. If you, that's, that's the only way out of this. The rest of everybody, the non-believers, the ones that will not listen, and Israel will go through the tribulation. The church is not. Jesus' people, his true believers, you, his sheep, you know who I'm talking to. You hear me. That's why God said, Chris, my sheep will hear me. The other ones, don't argue with them. They're not my sheep. They won't listen. But my sheep will listen. They'll be ready for the rapture when I come. He's coming. Mark my words. Listen to me clearly, my brothers and sisters, all over the world. He's coming for you. That's a promise. And we're leaving. And once you're saved, you believe that Jesus shed his blood for your past, present, and future sins. It's all about the blood. All about the blood. Hear that. It's all about the blood. All about the blood. You don't lose your salvation. Once you're saved, you're saved. God don't come in and rip it right off. You have faith. You move forward. You leave your life behind. You move forward. You, call, you know that Jesus is your only way. And then you're saved, people. He died. He rose again on the third day. He conquered death. For you. He was the sacrificial lamb. That's why there is no more law. If you go by the law, you'll be judged by the law. People don't understand. They don't read their Bible and they don't get it. He destroyed the law. It's gone. He did it all. And if you believe that, and that is the gospel, you're ready to go home and you don't have to go through this judge. And I'm here to tell you, trust in Jesus. Quit trusting in man and what he's teaching because men are evil. And I'm telling you, there's a lot of people on YouTube and everything teaching the wrong gospel. Do not listen to this stuff. Jesus is coming for you. Listen, I know you don't know me, but I trust Jesus and I, I know that you do too. Call upon Jesus. All you got to do is ask him questions. He will give you what you need. Don't listen to man. Don't listen to me. You listen to Jesus. He is who you trust. He is the only way. He's the door. He's the only way out of here. And I'm here to tell you, World War III happens very suddenly. Just like the rapture and the twinkling of an eye. Jacob's trouble is just minutes away, people. It's coming. The church is getting ready to leave here. I love each and every one of you. I'll be back tonight. We'll go over some more, more news articles. Thank each and every one of you for being here each and every day. We appreciate it. And make sure that you pray for all the lost. Pray for all those who reject the Holy Spirit. And try to get as many people on the ark as possible because, like I tell you, we're definitely running out of time. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven.